In this video, you will learn how we can use Visual Studio Online Monaco Editor to edit our website. We will edit the source code which is on GitHub. In the previous video, you will learn how to edit compiled website using Monaco Editor. Now in this video, you are going to learn how we can edit source code of website. I repeat, Monaco is a new browser based coding tool. It is a part of Visual Studio Online service and TFS to complement its traditional desktop development environment. The Monaco browser based development tool will work initially with Windows Azure websites letting developers edit build websites from webs out of the box and also it supports version controlling with GitHub. In order to edit source code we need to create two different Azure websites. First Azure website will publish from source control which is GitHub and second Azure website will clone the GitHub source code to allow us editing with Monaco editor. So let's go and create our first Azure website that publish from source control. So we need a source control and on your screen you can see I have a source control here on GitHub and I'll copy this URL later. Once you have the source control you can go and create a website here compute website and create custom create a website I'll name here Monaco editor and hope it is available yes and here I will click to select publish from source control click on next here and here I will select github click next and it will ask you to authorize the github account and in the drop down you will see all your github repositories I'm going to select here visual studio online Monaco demo project and click on complete. Now it will create a brand new website and also sync and enable continuous publish from GitHub project which you selected. Whenever we do a new commit or push from Visual Studio to GitHub, you will see a new deployment running on the page. Click on deployments and you will see here a uh, deployment is already active. So let's go ahead and browse this website just to see it works. And you can see this website is working fine. Let's go and open Azure portal on new tab again. So now we have our website running and synced with our GitHub repository. Now we are all set to create another website. Click on compute website and custom create it. I'll name here Monaco editor and I'll type here dev. Remember here you don't need to click on publish from source control just go and hit on complete. So you can see I have two websites one website which is synced from github and another website which, which has no any source control repository. I'll click here development website and click on configure tab and click on on to edit it in visual studio online which is Monaco save it and go to dashboard and you will see a link here edit in visual studio online preview click here now you you will notice this website has a single page hosting start.html5 is here which is default page and you will notice here visual studio online monaco now we are going to clone and sync our this monaco editor with github repository for this i will click on git here now you can see here we need a repository url so i am going to copy this url here and I'll paste that URL here and I'll click on clone from a github URL I'll click it and you will see here website is our website is getting clone here now let's go and click on explorer there is a project click here and in the view you will see index.cshtml page I can go and edit it here in the similar way we did in previous video I'll write here Monaco editor I can also go and modify controller I'm going to click on home controller in the about action result I'm going to write here Monaco editor remember I made changes in about action result so so far we made two changes and you can see here there is two click on git and I will write here commit from Monaco editor and click on commit all here and type here ms build hit enter and you will see build is succeed so once build is succeed you will notice here current branch master is zero commit behind and one commit ahead so just go here and type git push which is a git command just hit enter and you need to provide here 
your github repository password because it will go and update the github repository also so i will type here my credential and hit enter and go to the production production website you will see a new active deployment is live now just go and browse this website you will notice all the changes you made and on the about page you will also see monaco editor which we changed in our action result and in the github repository just go and refresh our page which is home controller you will see the changes here as well and you can see it here so you can see how monaco editor is updating the github repository and github is pushing a new deployment to our production website let's go and explore some really cool new features of monaco editor will go on index view and notice if I type here a p tag you will see a closing tag is also coming automatically so like this there are many features available in Monaco editor and maybe soon you will see some more feature so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like the video just comment in the comment box below thank you very much